All right, so I had to watch Halloween Kills a few times to really uh, decide if I if I liked it or if I didn't. Uh, which is probably like the first time I've ever had to do this with a Halloween movie. Anything that consists of Michael Myers, I am a fan of. So, I don't know. I guess that goes to say a lot. But I like it. I enjoy it. Uh, there was just things that bothered me, I guess you could say. I, I'll start from this. Based on the pictures that we saw, we waited a whole fucking year for this movie. So the hype was extreme. We saw the photos of the OGs returning. And I just imagined the rollout to be much different from what we got. So what we got, I don't know, I felt a little let down. Like, you know, I expected for the OGs to kind of not even, I guess, talk but yet reunite whenever they get word that Michael's back in Haddonfield, right? No, instead we get, they talk and they meet every Halloween, uh, whatever. Okay, so I wanted more of the OGs. This should have been about them, to be honest, but instead we got a lot of unnecessary scenes, like, you know, the mental patient in the hospital scene, with the mental patient. I get what the message was. But it wasn't necessary. They focus a lot on characters that, you know, we didn't give a fuck for. That we didn't even know. The thing that I liked about 2018 was that Michael goes from house to house. You see different people and shit, but it's very quick. It's like, ah, that bitch got it. Ah, she got it too. That's what I liked about it. This, they dragged the shit out of, like, all these other characters that we didn't care for we really just wanted to see more of tommy more of Lindsay, more of the nurse i keep forgetting her fucking name but yeah i like her so much and i felt like they did her dirty they did her more justice in h2o than in this one she deserved a lot more i'm gonna say that okay i really feel like she deserved a lot more sure kill her off but i mean really this is for dr loomis and the fucking it's done they could have at least give her a shot in him or something shit anyways and then and tommy man i don't know what the fuck it was but tommy really just i don't like the way they wrote tommy in this in this movie the way they did it in in uh, uh the curse of michael myers it seemed a little bit more natural you know that he had this fixation with Michael Myers because he was exposed to him. But not only that, but then when we see young Tommy in the first part, he kind of has this weird little fixation with the boogeyman, right? So it kind of it makes sense. This, he was like badass leading the mob shit and with the fucking bat. I don't know. It was it, that. Uh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. And it almost to the point that like when he died, I was kind of like, fuck, finally, shit. But then Lindsay. Lindsay, I think they really did well with Lindsay. I'm glad they didn't kill her off. Uh, they killed off everybody that returned. Everybody but Lindsay. No one's safe. I get it. But like everybody but Lindsay. But at least, at least Lindsay survived. Anyway, so, you know, Kyle Richards really surprised me with her performance in the movie. I'm, I didn't expect her to do so well, but she actually did really well. Uh, I love the whole, like, you know, she takes bricks in a fucking pillowcase and then swings it. Like, she puts up a fight. And that's what you would expect from these people, these OGs. So that's why, you know, going back to the nurse thing, it was very, like, fucking shit. Yeah, she's old and stuff, but come on, fuck. She deserved way more than that. The kills were fucking dope. The kills were really fucking dope in this movie. At, at least. You know, apparently there was like 30 kills or 30 plus. I don't know. But there was a lot of kills. And I'm so happy with what we got for like kills. Uh, the firefighter scene that, you know, had a petition against. Like that was fucking. Imagine that was taken out. That would have sucked. That was such a fucking sick scene. You know, like how he comes out and he's just mad as fuck. And then he kills like all of them. That was fucking dope. Like that's what we expected to see. Michael, like we've never seen him. My favorite kills... Uh, some of my favorite kills would have to have been like the uh, older couple, the biracial couple in the beginning. The light bulb in the throat and then the number of knives being stuck into the into the old man's back after. That was fuck Like, this is what we wanted. This is what we want from Michael Myers. 
when watching Michael Mark. Uh, the boyfriend, Cameron, I think his name is, whatever. That one was pretty fucking good, I gotta say. Um, the knife in the eye of uh, the, that guy, I forget his name. Nah. The guy that's uh, dressed in a nurse outfit with uh, the wife or girlfriend, Vanessa. I can't remember. Anyways, and speaking of that, she showed up real fucking late. For someone who jumped out of the car and got away and had a gun on her, you think she would have came back before, you know, the nurse and, and her boyfriend died? Just a little too fucking late. And then shoots herself in the fucking head, of all things, like shit. But yeah, and then back to the to the fact that they focus on characters that don't matter. I, you know, the gay couple was kind of like they were just thrown in there. Like, hey, let's put a gay couple in there and give them some scenes. That to me wasn't necessary. These are one of those scenes that were not necessary. They could have still done it without all of that extra shit. Little John, Big John. They. My thing with this is that they took away the spook. They took away the spook of Halloween that they had in 2018. They made it more like comedy, funny shit. I don't know. And then people are taking a shit fit that Karen died at the end people suspect that she didn't really die and that it was all a dream or some shit like that i don't know i think she's dead i think this is a it signifies that there's war now like real war because uh obviously that's Lori's daughter but i think it was a great way to kill off her character should her character die uh she dies in judith's room she dies almost the exact way that judith died um so I, it was a big thing. It may not seem big in comparison to the other kills that were more brutal and graphic, but this was more about symbolic, what it signifies. This is a start of a war now, so that's why we're getting ready for ends. I, I'm expecting it to go big. I won't get too excited uh, because I was really excited for Halloween Kills. I just felt like there was just a lot thrown in there that shouldn't have been. They really took away the spook of it, and I, I, I didn't enjoy that. The moments that they did get right, mind you, were good. The moment with uh, Lindsay, um, the nurse, and then the other two, the boyfriend and girlfriend there, that was a good scene. I, I enjoyed it. I just, you know, they could have wrote it better. And the lines, a lot of people have issues with the lines i don't blame them it's been fucking cheesy as shit the corny lines you know i could get past but there was a little bit too much evil dies tonight it was bad enough the first time it was said but then they abused the fuck out of it my god but the mob scene was really dope at the end when michael's getting like fucking jumped you almost feel bad for him and you're kind of rooting for him i'm not gonna lie i was rooting for michael to get back up and kind of kill them and then he kills tommy which was perfect because I didn't I didn't like him I thought the whole badass Tommy thing with the fucking bat was just eh, it was too too over too too much it was too much anyways I hope you guys enjoyed it I did still enjoy the movie I still watch it I will still watch it and I'll watch it again and again and again because it is Halloween and uh, Michael Myers and it's like my favorite movies um, especially with Laurie and Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie um, but yeah let me know what you think I'm, I'm seeing a lot of bad reviews and negative reviews um, from from really loyal fans, let's say. Let me know what you think. Comment below, subscribe, like, you know the deal.